hi everybody. Happy full moon in Virgo. That was happening just a little bit after midnight, early this morning. I wanted to do a full moon reading for everybody for the next couple of weeks. Enjoying this full moon and the waning cycle. See what this full moon has to offer everyone out there. So I'm just tuning in to everyone who is currently watching live and in the future, everyone that will um, check in with this full moon reading. Just asking that um, I be a clear channel for the highest good of en everyone looking for what's coming up for them the next couple weeks in this waning cycle. Okay, let me just check my camera, make sure I have everything move this out of the way and put these a little bit more aligned. Okay, so please like take a moment and tune in and see if one of these piles resonates with you. Good job. So I'll move these two aside and we'll start with this pile. For the far left pile, the first card is the karmic wheel. Cause creates effect. And behind that we have this transformation card from the fire, a deep and lasting change. And coming up in the future, we have abundance, centered and respect, receptive. All is granted. So for this full moon in Virgo, this karmic wheel asks, asks you to pay attention to your actions. The cause creates effect means what you are doing is creating what you, what's happening in your life, whether it's desired or not. So if you want a different effect, you have to take a different action. You have to choose a different vibration. You have to move in a way that's more aligned with where you want to go and not with what has been. Behind you, so let me just show you really quickly this, this karmic wheel card. And then behind you, the foundation of this is the transformation card, this phoenix coming out of its egg. So this transformation card really, um, you've been through a lot. You've undergone a really deep, deep change and you're not willing to put up anymore with where you've been. This is a new you and it's a new time and coming into your abundance in the in the coming weeks. You're really going to feel more centered, feel more receptive. And from this place of feeling your son, like just feeling the warm rays of your own son. From that place, all is granted the life that you want, who you are and just honoring your own sacred being. So that's for the left pile. Now we go on to the middle pile. For the, those of you that chose the middle pile, we have the loyalty card. She's a love protecting the peaceful home. And behind that we have a fire card, the essence of fire. And coming up, 
we have the magic card, conduit between heaven and earth. So for this loyalty card, this Shiza card, this is a traditionally the lover's card. And this card shows a pair of Shiza dogs um, at the entrance of a home. And it's really about um, protection, protecting your relationships, honoring your relationships, um, taking care of how you speak in relationship and how you nurture your relationship. And that will um, cultivate the kind of peaceful home that you desire or the relationships that you desire. And the word of this card is loyalty. And that can also be loyalty to yourself and being true to yourself. And um, that's where a relationship with others really starts, honoring that. So um, behind that, we have this Essence of Fire card, which is the, the concentrated energy of fire, passion, action, and energy. Um, so coming into this loyalty card, we have this igniting of a, something new, possibly a new passion. And um, really harnessing all of that uh, intense, fiery energy. And in, in the present moment, just being in a state of um, nurturing and more respect. And these two Shiza dogs are like gazing at each other. So really um, being in this paired situation and that creates this inward cycle that um, it deepens the relationship. And coming into the future, the next couple of weeks, we have the magic card. So this is the monkey, magic monkey, conduit between heaven and earth. So it's really harnessing the five elements of fire, water, metal, earth, and the the wood element to um, create magic here on the physical plane, understanding how to use the elements and be in a solid, grounded state with um, the physical aspects of what you're relating to. So for this cycle, it looks like um, um, something, something got sparked and moving towards stabilizing and grounding that. So that's it for the middle pile. And coming into the far right pile. For the far right pile, we have the dream card, Upo Sharmanes. Behind that, we have the essence of water, another essence card. And in front of that, we have the summer, the season of fire. So we have both uh, opposite elements, the water and the fire element. So this um, shamaness card, and this is um, about the veil between the worlds, between the visible and the invisible world, and understanding that we are both made of the physical plane and the spirit plane. And kind of riding, riding that line between both and being clear on the dream state and also clear on the waking state. So pay attention to your, um, your dream state. Even, even if you're awake, you can kind of access that other side of the veil. So watch that for the next couple of weeks. And um, leading into this card from the past, we have the essence of water, another kind of beginning card, the essence of this element of water, which deals with emotions and with the spiritual depth and which, and with um, a flow, a like purification almost. So allowing um, this essence of water to move you into a deeper, understanding of your own intuition and your own um, perception of the mysteries being revealed. So this, for this reading, we're going to move into the fiery time of summer, 
which um, is a season card, season of fire. So the timing looks good for you in the next couple of weeks to move into this more um, season of action. Fire is like action, season of passion, connecting with your own passion, moving in the direction of your dreams and taking the necessary steps to actually bring those dreams into reality. So that is the full moon reading in Virg Virgo for the next couple weeks. Thanks for listening. And as always, if you um, would like to purchase the Inner Light Moon Oracle guidebook and deck, and go to our website. The link is in the bio. And thank you for watching. Wishing you all a very happy full moon.